Hey guys and welcome to my channel. I'm Kristen and today I want to share with you guys some great dollar store blanks to use for crafting. I am really into this like summer bee vibe uh, type decor right now so I'm gonna show you guys some really quick and easy DIYs to do with that. Okay, for this first DIY, I'll be using these classic vintage transfers. These are by Redesign Prima, Prima, and then I'm going to be using this B transfer for these really cute little whiteboard tags. These were from Dollar Tree. I thought these were adorable. They also have chalkboard ones I'm going to be using um, in this video as well. So the first thing I did was pull that transfer off once it was done and then I decided to paint this. So this was kind of last minute, but I was like, you know, this just does not... I don't know. It just was not giving me like good vibes at all. Like black and white. It's summer. I love these little bee type. I love the yellow. I love it all. So I'm also going to be using on the other side a chalk couture transfer. This is an older style one that I've had, but I love the um, like the design of it. And then I'm just going to be using a yellow chalk paste from Chalk Couture as well. And then this is totally optional. You could use something with your Cricut or add another transfer on here, but I just really love the yellow. So I wanted to just add it to the other uh, tag. And then I'm just going to be hot gluing the two together. And I'm just gonna be adding it into the center of a wreath. And this wreath was from Dollar General pretty recently. I think it was only $5. Tree has these wood pieces and I'm just going to be making a cute little sign. This is just some yellow paint. This is by Apple Barrel and I'm just going to be giving this a solid coat. Nothing too fancy on this because I do kind of like the way the little wood grain kind of comes through just a little bit. Kind of gives it just, I don't know, a little bit of texture. Kind of looks like I dry brushed it with a little bit of black, but it's just the way it dried and came out. This is from the same transfer roll as I showed in the beginning with the bee. This one is a flower and garden, seed growers and merchants, and I love this one as well. It comes with this little crafter tool or this crafter stick tool to add your transfers onto. Um, I really, really like these because I can rub these transfers really, really hard and the stick has not broke yet. So I love that. Um, and then now I'm just going to be peeling the transfer back. I do this really slowly just in case the transfer does not come off all the way. And then I can just set it back down and use that stick to transfer just a little bit more until it comes off of the piece that I want it to. So once that was done, I'm just going to be taking some twine. This is just the twine from the car section at the Dollar Tree. It's always my favorite to use. I think you get quite a bit for your money. I don't use it too often, uh, but when I do, I never go through an entire roll and it comes with three rolls. Uh, but I'm just going to be tying it to the back. And then once that is done, I found this greenery from Dollar Tree as well. And I'm just going to be adding it to one side of the sign. And that is all I did for this. Really simple grab one of these chalkboards and these home laser wood cuts or wood cutouts and I'm just going to be painting the home with Waverly chalk paint in white give it a good coat and then once that is done I just waited for it to dry which I use a blow dryer or a hair dryer so it does not take any time at all for it to dry and then I just grabbed my hot glue gun I always use a sure bonder hot glue gun although I don't feel like I love them quite as much as I used to. They're starting to like drip. I've already had to throw one away. I don't know. Let me know in the comments below what kind of glue guns you guys have because I think I'm in the market for a different one. Uh, and then yeah, hot glue the home right to the center of the chalkboard. You could add any additional embellishments or things that you'd want to this. I'm just leaving it very simple because it matches my simple home decor just as is.
DIY, I'm using these Chalk Couture transfers. I love these. This comes with six, which I think is a, an amazing deal because you can make six different types of crafts. I love these. Um, they remind me of little like bee honeycombs. That's what I'm going to call them. And I wanted to use three different types of like, it says it's their spring, but I didn't use the one that said hello spring. I used the one that said hello, hey bud. And then the B one. I think it's live in the buzz or live in, you'll see it in a second. Um, I'm using only three different chalk paste for all of these. So they match and they look good together. Um, I'm using the eucalyptus. I think the yellow chalk paste is a bumblebee. And then I'm just using the bright white and you can reuse these transfers over and over again. And I will link chalk to in the description box below. If you guys want to check them out, I use them all the time. I, you guys want like a tour of my house half of it is chalk couture because that's just how high end I think their items turn out. I think they're so pretty. And every time I see a chalkboard, I always think chalk couture as soon as I purchase them. Uh, I really like it as well because with the chalkboard, you can actually erase this, um, with just like a wet paper towel, maybe a little bit of dish soap, and you can redo these as many times as you like. Um, but I love this one. This one says, Hey bud, but I just really wanted to use this yellow chalk paste. It is fairly new to me since I've done like a lemonade or a lemon DIY, but I think they are. So let's get buzzing. I don't know. Live in the buzz, I think is what I said it was called. That's definitely not it. Let's get buzzing. And then I just put these together to make a fun little uh, sign for my hutch. This one, this little mason jar chalkboard and these rub on transfers. I love these the little dandelions or the little, we call them blow flowers around here. I think we just always have since my daughter was younger, but that's what I still call them to this day after like 11 years. So uh, I'm just going to be adding the transfer onto here and I'm only going to be rubbing around the center of the mason jar because I did not want the flowers to be on the edges um, around that little white trim. So this took some time. This did not work the best. I was having so many issues with this one. Um, I didn't even show because it probably took me 10 minutes to actually make this, but in the end, I think it turned out super stinking cute. last one, it's going to look pretty similar to the first one that I did, uh, this little black tag chalkboard. You get two of them together. This little transfer came off of Amazon. I love trying out any type of silkscreen transfers. I am a sucker for anything farmhouse. So I want to test these out. They work really, really great. And I will link them for you guys if you want. Um, I'm not going to put them in the description box, but if you do want to know about them, um, I actually got them for free because, uh, Amazon took a few months to deliver them. So I don't recommend them, but as far as like the product, it's really, really great. You guys, that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure you give this video a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, consider sticking around and subscribing and I will see you in the next one. Bye.